Apparently there was also a canceled sort of Final Fantasy 14. Oh, if we're getting into TV that, I have, I have a bumper. Are we doing that? Because then I have a bumper. It's yeah, t- press it's time. the button. It's time for... Uh, oh, no, I don't have it loaded. I'm sorry, everybody. The studio is still being built, and I've lost control of my it's life. Okay. It's okay. I've lost control of my it's life, okay. everybody. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Clips channel. Did you know this isn't our main channel? But yet, you should subscribe over and find our main videos and our streams as well. We also have a podcast that you can find wherever podcasts can be found. So explore the internet. See you there. How has this, in the two years, we've been streaming Final Fantasy XIV and we've been surrounded by raging Final Fantasy XIV fans. How has it never come up that there was a Final Fantasy XIV television show in development? When was the last time you heard about the live action Avatar? Uh, many times. That's many, true. Many That's times. true. We like bringing it at, up. At least four times over just the last year. Because I think we knew in our... This is my first time hearing about it as well. We also got our first teaser early last year, which is why we heard about it a lot over the course of 2023. But apparently this was dead, and this is kind of the first news everyone's hearing about it. Yeah. Yeah. So you pointed me to a write-up uh, over on Rock, Paper, Shotgun. This was written by Matt Jarvis. Uh, titled Final Fantasy XIV won't be the next video game TV series as the Witcher producers live action project dead or project dead. I don't know. That's a hell of a run on headline. They wanted to make it shorter after it's long. (laughs) Yeah, sure. So there was a planned live action adaptation of 14. It is now dead. According to this write up, this was announced in 2019 and they link out to another story talking about when this was announced. And I'm like, how did I miss all of this? But I did. I missed all of this. Um, and it got as far as being written. The, the The pilot was being written. It had known writers attached to it. Uh, they had gotten into an agreement with the production company Hivemind, who had a part to play in both the Witcher adaptation and The Expanse. Oh. So The Expanse, beloved by everyone. The Witcher, beloved by some. Some. Yeah. I really like The Witcher show. I understand. I guess they broke from canon quite a bit and pissed off a lot of uh, I mean, Witcher they, fans. The own writer yells at the game often. I so don't know enough what is canon. to care. Yeah. I just know that Henry Cavill is perfect, and that show is dead to me now that he's leaving. Well, he's but, off to go do Warhammer, maybe, sort of. That's yes. the rumor that's always going around, so yes. that'd be sweet. Yeah, no, I, I think that's that's pretty much that's in the canon. Do it. It's happening. He'd be awesome. It is happening. Um, but... So it got that far. They had the writers working on it. And anyway, uh, apparently that has been since canceled, which um, bums me out because hot damn, Final Fantasy 14 would be a great Final Fantasy to adapt. Although I personally would prefer an anime adaptation. What's really interesting is the comments on this sort of news. Oh, because you have a- I haven't seen any. Oh, yes. So in Kyle, mm. uh, welcome to Kyle's comment corner, everybody. Yes. What do... The people have to say about the canceled Final mm. Fantasy XIV live action television show I just learned existed and now will not exist. You know, I think you just used the people, which I like that. Because I've been cautious of saying people are mad because people are always mad. But the people. The people. The people. The commenters uh, actually can't decide if the show actually has a story or not. Or if the game is more of a feeling. And the show should try to strike the feeling. The game absolutely has a story. Or if they should It die. has a very linear story. I know. An exceptionally linear see, story. See, that's the big argument was, you know, we, everyone wants to see the script. Everyone wants to know if it was going to be the feeling of Final Fantasy XIV or if they were going to do the story of Final Fantasy XIV. I think you do the story, not the feeling. I'm and assuming the feeling is uh, there's like uh, the, the 800 scantily clad cat ladies dancing in Limsa. And then one person with a frog head comes running through, throwing the coin emote. Or something like, th- th- I always enjoy, uh, you know, more of a... a Only 800. That's that's yeah. how our chat takes issue with yeah. what I just said. Yeah, like a, there's, a, there's a... You can do it. I like soundscapes, you know, or uh, feelings, you know? Uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. you just like, oh, ooh, ah. Like, that's that's the best descriptor I can give you. You're just like, oh, I'm, I'm in it. Someone please clip that. And if you were to pan the camp, excuse me, Dolly... Right. Well, you can pan a camera. You can dolly a camera. What are you trying to? I, I want to be on a crane, and I want to be like, uh, uh, like emotionally that, sweeping that, that, across that a, probably, a shot. It would probably be a dolly or a truck. 
but yeah, panning. Yeah, I'm driving a truck. Camera's locked down on a pan. You're, okay. you're pivoting on like a jointed. Um, that's a, a criminally overused and you know there's, there's used, all the big yeah. blue shit on top, and then there's like half of a building and it, like three actors, and then the rest is all digital. But you know what I mean. We go <laughs> yes. we, we go sweeping in to the streets of Old Don. We enter uh, and and we enter the Adventures Guild, and it's all oh it's all just it's all just feeling. Yep. Right. Yep. Because we're back in a World of Warcraft situation with the both, movie. though, because Star Wars has the feeling of Star Wars, that lived-in world that, where there's adventures around every corner. You go to the canteen and you're like, what's that motherfucker that looks like he's got a gas mask doing? He must be on all sorts of crazy events. You can still have that and still yeah. tell a linear story. You tell the main story from Final Fantasy XIV, you cast somebody as the Warrior of Light that is an actual character. Is prob- that what you want? Probably talks a lot more. Yeah, honestly, yes, yes. Because I want to hang out with the Scions. I want to eventually go up against one of my now all-time favorite villains that kind of ascends to frenemy territory by the end of their I, arc. That's fine. I, I would I would want the Mandalorian. You, I, I just you want, want like a complete, like just a, a mood piece. Well, that's really just season one of the Mandalorian and then it also and tells the its own one. story. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree with you. I like season two and three, but season one is the best. You're not wrong and i wouldn't be against that but i want to this will mean nothing to you if you ha- haven't gotten this far i want to go to the first don't explain what that is but i want to go to the first if you're just the mandalorian that's not going to happen that's true unless you find a contrived way to get them there i mean yeah <laughs> okay all right all right all right all right uh, you're convincing me, but now I have a new answer. Okay. Uh, uh, if it's live action, I want that. If it's anime, I want the goddamn story of Final yes. Fantasy. Yes. Oh, absolutely. No, that's a. There's such a different feel there, and I agree with you completely. If it's an anime, beat for beat, I mean, you can okay. you can encompass right. the characters more. It's there's already a break from reality. You dress up someone like Yashtola, I'm already thinking like, oh, the the ears are fake, and uh, the the hair isn't right, and the dress, you know, it doesn't have the floof on the shoulders that's correct. But in anime, we're already, like, you can do I, styles, you can I, do different types, you can do, you know, it's a <laughs> medium. It could have any kind of... I get so annoyed at not accepting that live-action adaptations look different that I I don't care, because I'm like, that. this is why we can't have nice things, because you can't adapt, like, if some a lot of anime hairstyles just can't really truly be adapted sure. to live action. There's some wonderful cosplayers that pull off some wonderful things, but when you're actually, if you're trying to shoot it in a semi-realistic way, it just doesn't really work. It stands out. So you need to make some concessions. You need to come up with a new style that works for what you're working with. Um, I think that's a fair critique. It, it, it never bothers me. Uh, the, where it does bother me is Warcraft, because uh, that live action Warcraft movie, it was like a half measure they had fully CJ orcs where they more or less did the ridiculous proportions of Warcraft. And then you had real humans with oversized shoulder pads and it just looked dumb to me. Hmm. That's where I feel they didn't have a cohesive style. Yes. Yes. Ultimately what, you know, then we can just get into personal preference of, I find the, the office awkward. I can't watch Michael Scott do anything because he's such an awkward man. Um, uh, sure. I wish I could help you with that. Because my God, there's some good comedy. Absolutely, in that show. absolutely. There's amazing. Scenes. Michael Scott is a great character, <laughs> and I enjoy using uh, uh, what's his face who does all the pranks as gifts uh, and stuff. Uh, uh, oh, Jim? No, the the other uh, Dwight. Dwight. Well, yeah. they're they're pranking each other. Yeah. Jim is more the prankster. Dwight is a humorless individual. Yes, I love Dwight. You yeah. know, I use him in gifts often without having any relationship to the show because <laughs> he communicates oh that's why a lot of times when you use dwight things i go incorrect probably you don't understand the character but why would i he's he's emoting in a way i find agreeable that's just what's the nodding guy from garrett in the woods the nodding guy hewning a stick oh i have absolutely no idea yeah no clue but we all agree what he's nodding and it's approving and we like it exactly exactly so the the medium to the medium of anime to me helps to suspend disbelief and that's as simple as that. That's fair. I get what you're saying, though, that the live action is often over critiqued for reasons you find trite. Yes. Yeah. It's it, it's it's uh, I often find it 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 comes from people who limit themselves too much. Yeah. Oh, okay. and yeah. Absolutely. And then it confuses the conversations when something is legitimately bad, as opposed to just different from what you expected. Absolutely. 
Yeah, that's where I that's where I get grumbly. Mm. That's where I get grumbly, everybody. Mm, the Warcraft movie is such a fascinating example because uh, it didn't have the mass-produced real-world feel to it like Lord of the Rings where you had that many swords, that much armor, and it seemed they practical. Did, I, I mean, I'll give it to them. They did have a decent amount of extras, so at least a, a lot did. of the human Yeah, there was a nice stuff. little... But the orcs, to me, like, nailed that Warcraft look so well. I'm like, they should just CG, CG the whole thing. Should have had CG humans. Or they should have really toned the orcs down to a more human scale so that they blended with their actual real-life human counterparts and that I, they were interacting with. Really, for me, it was just the Medivh dropped the ball. That was so weird. Why yeah. Why did we do this version of Medivh yeah. anyway? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Avatar did it well, even though I don't really like Avatar. So this was apparently... Going to be a Sony Pictures Television production. Yep. And involved with Hive Mind, which I already mentioned. Yeah. They did Witcher and the Expanse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, I would have watched this, man. Uh, like, I don't know. Just go for it. It can't be worse than M. Night Shyamalan's live action last day. Well, I mean, you're, you're just jumping into the deep end there for sure. It can't be worse than the live action Death Note movie. I did not see that. Did you? Oh, sorry. It? I need to specify. Actually, the Japanese one I think is worse than the American one. Oh my! The American one is so different. It's not Death Note. It just happens to have a Death Note and Ryuk. It is beyond that. It is a horror comedy, and a slapstick horror comedy at that. And I actually kind of enjoy it for it being its own thing. Hmm. The live action, uh, the Japanese made live action Death Note is a joyless retelling, uh, horribly bound to the source material in a way that makes it feel like a fan film shot at a anime convention. Here's the question. What's season one's climax of what? Final oh, Final Fantasy 14. Oh, I think you do the banquet. I think you could get there. I think you do the yeah. banquet. Yeah. Okay. It's I, that's episode nine. Cause what game of Thrones did the big thing in episode nine and then 10 was picking up the pieces. And so, you, you banquet on episode nine and episode 10 is um, the, the retreat of the warrior of light now wanted. And you get your first taste of Ishgard. I would actually feel. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I have good ideas that sometimes. Don't act so surprised. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, it ain't happening. No, uh, it's the, a shame. The company that came closest to hosting it was going to be Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I bet they're a little gun shy after Lord of the Rings. What a beautiful disaster. I want that show to be good so bad. It's pretty to look at. Oh, it is. It is a feat of visuals, costuming. There's I like that so Archer much. Elf dude. He is just cool. Oh, are you talking about it? Yeah. yeah. The Witcher. It was essentially, I guess he, he is kind of a Witcher. Witcher. Yeah. He, I was like, damn, I'm into this yeah, dude. Like, I want to watch this guy's event. Like, I, they should just do a show about him. Just make... <laughs> just do Lord of the Rings, The Witcher, starring that Monster guy, Hunter. that guy alone. Stop trying to tie in all this shit into the actual Lord of the Rings with stuff you don't even have the licenses to. You didn't even have the Cimmerillion. It was just, just yeah. get a good writer and tell an original story that you don't try and dovetail. He's eating some dirt, you know, just like... Oof. I don't need text to show up and tell me I'm looking at Mordor. I'm not the dumbest human being on Earth. <laughs> Just Respect like, my brain. There's like one place in Lord of the Rings. That, actually, <laughs> I wonder what I'm fair, looking at. <laughs> to be fair, there are multiple places that look like that. But yes, your audience who came to it loved Lord of the Rings growing up. They want to see more Lord of the Rings when you pan across them. My favorite part of uh, episode three is when the helmet goes down on Darth Vader and text comes up that says Darth Vader. Yeah. We're all so confused, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's my favorite part. I guess there is actually legitimately a scene where... Palpatine goes, and now your name is Darth Vader. <laughs> so never mind. Maybe episode three has a lot of the same problems. Well, wait, but uh, that, that never bothered, that bothered a lot of people. It didn't bother me because I knew about the rule of two thing. And like, you know, he's got a name of an apprentice. They all have cool names. He's got a name at some point. It doesn't bother me that much. It is a pretty stilted scene. It is a little. He's just kind of yeah. standing there. And, and now your name is uh, Lord. And he actually pauses like he has to think about it for a second. Vader. <laughs> And that bothers me. Uh, you know, I, I love Ian McDermott. Um, he is in rare form in episode three. He is hammy as can be. Oh, he's and it's a wonderful. Time. Um, but yeah, that may be not his best scene. Okay. Maybe not his best scene. Anyway, this is a bummer. I would have watched the shit out of this show. 
Even if it was bad, I would have watched the shit. Can you imagine the content if it was bad? It would probably be better than if it was good. If we did a watch along series with the live action adaptation of Final Fantasy XIV, content creators, like oh my god, if it was good, it would have been a bit boring because we would have showed up every week for our watch along video, and it would have been like, oh, it was just wonderful. Oh, aren't you having a great time? If it was bad though, we would have been laughing so much, we would have been making so much fun of it. Everyone would be tuning in to leave their comment, which yeah. would fuel the algorithm about how much they hated it. We really, really, I'm, I'm only sad that this isn't happening because we would have made wonderful videos about Content it. Content drought, hold my beer, says the show, and unleash <laughs> is just absolute <laughs> trash on its audience. Would yes. have been gorgeous. Yes. Yep. Oh, ooh, ah, like that's that's the best descriptor I can give you. You're just like, ooh, I'm, I'm in it. 